Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the minimum difficulty of a job schedule problem from Lead Code. This is a Lead Code hard and the number for this is 1335. So let's start with the question. We you want to schedule a list of jobs in D days. So we have uh, we want to schedule a list of jobs in D days and the jobs are dependent. That is to work on I job you have to finish all the jobs J where zero less than equal to J less than equal to less than I. So to complete a job I, you need to finish all the jobs J, which is uh, which comes previous to the I. So only after completing all the previous task you can finish a uh, task I that is next to it. So and there is also some conditions you have to finish at least one task every day, and the difficulty of the job schedule is the sum of difficulties of each day of the D days. And the difficulty of the day is the maximum difficulty job done on that day. So for every job, there is an associated job difficulty array scheduled, and you have to you have to make sure that the uh, maximum difficulty of the job is calculated using the uh, like difficulty of day is calculated using the maximum difficulty of the job done on a particular day and there is a minimum difficulty which need to be performed so we have to return the minimum difficulty of the job schedule if we cannot find a schedule for the job return minus one so if there is no schedule we need to return minus one so for this we will be using something uh, uh, like recursion because we want to hit and trial different methods and we'll be creating a helper function the alpha function will be taking two parameters one is the days left number of days left and the new starting index and uh, we'll be starting with the the multiple day, uh, days and uh, with the same index and then we'll be going to increase the index per at per every level so let's see how we are going to code this but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so first of all we need to see the base cases so if the number of jobs is less than the number of uh, days yes if the number of jobs is less than the number of days that is it means it is impossible to create a valid schedule so in that case we have to return minus one so if the job difficulty dot length is less than the number of days we need to return minus one And uh, if the sum of jobs difficulties is zero, uh, then we can uh, return the minimum difficulty. But before that, let's initialize the length first. Job difficulty dot length. Sum equal to zero. And I equal to zero. I is less than length. I plus plus. Here we have to do a sum plus equal to job difficulty of i so we are adding the job difficulties into the sum and if the sum equal equals to zero we can return zero so this is our second base case now we can simply return or call the helper on the job difficulty so 
with the D as the starting name and the zero as the index. And we also need to define the helper function as well. Int helper. It will take the array difficulty. Let's call it JD job difficulty. Oops, D is left. And an index so let's let's call for the length then if the t is left if it is equal to one and then int num equal to zero we have to iterate over the from the index to the length because this is the last day so we need to go from the index to i less than the length i plus plus and here we will we will calculate the max difficulty so this is the max maximum difficulty of the day from here only we can return the num because this was the last day in any recursion call so we have solved the problem for the last day of the recursion call now we need to do the calls intermediate calls for the intermediate calls we'll define variable max that will initially take the difficulty as the jd of index and since we are using one of the days so d is left equal to minus minus one stop equal to so stop will be defined by i think length minus index and uh, also days left will be minus subtracted plus one So we have defined the stop. We will be defined. We have defined the result to store the result. Now we have to iterate over the indexes. So I will start from one. I will go till the stop. What we have taken is i plus plus and max will be max dot max of the JD of x minus 1 uh, this will be actually jd of idx plus i actually because we are on i so max equal to max vd uh, of idx plus i minus one so this is same fine now int other equal to helper so first of all we have to pass the jd array then we have to pass the days left so days left we have already reduced so no need to do that then idx plus one so here we are doing all the intermediate calling of the uh, recursive calls recursive tree so and this was the terminal call, recursion calls and these are the intermediate recursion calls so result will be mat dot minimum of the difficulties rest comma the plus max and finally we can after this return the rest 
So let's see if it's run fine or not. <coughs> there be now. There might be some compilation error. Okay. You can see this is the recursive code which I have written. This runs uh, almost on all the sample test cases, parses them. But if this is a exponential time complexity solution, I know that if I am going to submit it, it is going to give me a time limit exceeded. Still, I am going to submit it for you guys. Let's see. you can see uh, I get a time limit exceeded and my solution is not not accepted but 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 in an interview if you are going to uh, draw the uh, I mean explain the solution the interviewer will be a bit <coughs> happy with you you have to just memorize this what is memorization using memory to optimize the time complexity so here we are going to do the same we are going to memorize it and how to memorize it let's see so here we will be defining and <coughs> i'm sorry for this enter memo and here will be new int and it will be t plus 1 and it will be len so okay if we have Shift it here, it looks good here. And in the helper function itself, we'll pass this 2D array memo. And we need to check if our memo already contains an answer. So if the memo of this left and id x index is not equal to 0 simply return otherwise we can go inside and this will become void We are not going to return an integer and here also it will not return an integer <coughs> it will return the memo of d comma zero so here we need to make some changes memo of this left and the index will be num num is misnamed here we can go out of the loop <coughs> the other things remain the same only where we have used helper this helper will be replaced by the memo so we need to make some changes so max will be as it is max will not be changed then we have the other so let's rewrite it for you int other equal to memo of now see the helper was called for days left and index plus one so you have to do the same days left id x plus one you see uh, sorry it was i so this is i id x plus i and you can remove this line okay but there is a catch in this if the others other becomes zero in this case 
so we need to do one more call that is helper will be called with JD the days left the index and the memo will be also passed here okay and other becomes this the memo of days left plus idx plus i okay now rest will be the same and here instead of return we will store it in the menu So this is how we have memorized it. Let's see if it runs. There has been an error. And what's the error? We need to define an int. Memo here. Okay, the solution is memorized. Let's try to submit it. So the solution is submitted, accepted, and with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. So the time complexity for the solution without memorization was uh, actually exponential. O raised to the power O, 2 raised to the power n, and the space complexity was O of n. <coughs> because of the depth of the recursion track but with memoization the time complexity is improved to O of n whereas the space complexity is also O of n so this is the optimal solution to provide in the interview the interviewer will be, will be happy with this solution so you can also check the C++ Python JavaScript code by going into the solutions panel this is my solution you can go here and you can check the complexity recursive, recursive solution code and then the memoize solutions code and yes do remember me to upvote i hope you like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day